Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 26.1 which is currently on its second beta. Now of course this is the first big update to iOS 26 since its release. It comes with a ton of new features and changes and a lot of improvements. So in today's video I will show you guys 10 of the best new features and changes that will come to your device with the new iOS 26.1 and a lot of cool new things that your, your device will be able to do once you have it updated to the new iOS 26.1. Now first of all are the animations iOS 26.1 has enhanced a lot of the animations on the device starting from the home screen right here just like opening and closing apps you will see a new bounce animation there which is really cool going into the control center if i press and hold here to go to the menu you will see there is a new animation which is pretty awesome and basically everywhere on ios you will get new animations there is a new animation here for when turning on and off the toggles right here on the lock screen it's much smoother much nicer actually apple has done a great job with ios 26.1 when it comes to the animations and everything is actually super smooth and the animations are more like the ones that we saw at the wwdc 2025 where they actually first revealed ios 26. And with the new iOS 26.1, we finally get a feature that I feel like should have been here way before, like years before. You finally can swipe to skip on the music app. This is a feature that I don't know why it hasn't been like released before. It's not that complicated. It's not that big of a deal. But it's finally here with iOS 26.1 and you can finally do it now you can skip and also go backwards to the song simply by swiping on the title now when it comes to actually swiping and doing these little tricks on ios here's another one that you will be able to do on ios 26.1 whenever you select a piece of text whether that be of course on the notes app or the message anywhere on ios you will see that if i swipe here we get now the menu on like a drop down so previously you would have to swipe like this and it would just go through it will have basically all the elements in line here but now you will get this button which you can tap to go to the menu where you get all the different details and everything you need or if you just get the menu you can just swipe like this from the right to the left and it brings the drop down menu with all the different tools that you need. Now one of my favorite new features of iOS 26.1 is the border feature. This one is pretty cool. So you head on under accessibility and then you go to display and text size and they will have display border. Just notice that button right there. I enable this and now it has a border. It will basically give a border to every element on your device that has a liquid glass design. So you can see that if I go back here can see the search bar now it has a border around this is actually pretty cool i really like this feature you can see right here we have the dock if i go to the control center everything here has a border how cool is that i can go here to notes you can see all the buttons everything does have a border you can see all the different tools right here this is actually pretty cool i really like what apple has done here it will make it much easier for a lot of people to basically just like view things easier on ios some people don't really like the liquid glass effect and in my opinion with this like new added feature it will make it much much easier for you to actually see things like you can see right here everything has a border around it and as you can notice right here this will be applied to the liquid glass elements on the device which is pretty cool it even affects the lock screen right here so if you have the liquid glass effect clock right there you will see that border and you will see it on the toggles here as well so you can notice right here that i don't have the liquid glass clock right here i just have the regular one and it doesn't have a border but if we switch to the liquid glass one then it will have a border now here's another really cool thing with iOS 26.1 and we're talking here about the photos 
So you can see the menu right here that you get when you force touch on a photo. Now you will have your most used buttons at the top. Well, these are probably the most used for everyone. So you will have the delete, share, and favorite. So these three buttons used to be on the menu right here, and you had to look for them in order to delete your photo, share it, or favorite it. Now you will actually have them right there at the top, which in my opinion is a great move by Apple and makes it much easier for you to basically do anything you want with your photo here, like delete it, favorite it, or share it. Now we're having everything right there at the, at the top of the table much, much better. Another really cool thing coming to your iOS 26.1 device is the new UI here for videos. So when you're viewing a video, you will have now this scrubber right here, making it very easy for you to actually move on the video. And as you can see, as you basically hold it, it becomes bigger and shows you right there the minutes and the seconds. It makes it much, much easier for you to actually move on the video. Another great thing iOS 26.1 will bring to your device are more languages for live translation. As you know, with AirPods and iOS 26, you will be able to have live translations on your AirPods. Now you'll get way more languages for live translations with AirPods, but also other live translations like iMessage. You know, with iOS 26, you get live translation on iMessages. So you send a message on a different language, you receive it on a different language. It's actually pretty cool. So those now will be supported by more languages as well as Apple intelligence. Another thing Apple has added with this update is right here under privacy and security. Scroll all the way down here and you will find a new section that you haven't seen before. It is called background security improvements. You will have this enabled by default once you update to iOS 26.1. So basically what this will do is like it provide an additional protection to your iPhone in between software updates. Now I can go here and learn more and you will get all the details about this feature and what it does, but it's a great addition to your device. Now this is the one that everyone has been talking about, the slide to stop screen. Now if you had an iPhone, an old iPhone, you know we had that slide to unlock feature. It was actually really cool. I wish we at least had an option to enable it on the, like today's devices. That would be really awesome. But Apple has brought back that feature, but it's now on the clock app. So when you have an alarm, you will have right here the option to slide to stop and not just a button. You will have to slide your finger across to actually stop your alarm, which is pretty cool. And it works with timers as well. And another great thing that Apple has added to iOS 26.1, on the lock screen, you will get a new animation when going in and out of sleep here. And also when unlocking your device, you can see how cool that is. Previously, if you have currently an iOS 26 device, not iOS 26.1, just try this and this will basically push up the album art as you're unlocking your device. But you can see what happens here. The album art will stay on its place and you can see it's basically the full screen now and I can unlock and go like that. So it doesn't remove the album art alongside with the screen of your device with the lock screen. But once you get out of the lock screen, it just takes you straight to the home screen without touching the album art at all. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are 10 amazing features coming to your device with iOS 26.1. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did and subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next one.